Today, we're going to take a look at how Leverage integrates with Microsoft Dynamics Retail Point of Sale. A common occurrence with ag retailers is that they negotiate special pricing with their customers for certain items for a certain quantity um, and period of time. Also, they're generally received prepayments on top of that uh, for those agreements. And uh, some of the items require some special licensing in order to purchase. So the first thing is with the uh, special pricing, Dynamics handles that with, or with sales agreements. Uh, you would put in a sales agreement for that customer for the item and quantity and uh, the certain price that you want and when that might expire. You could also, with leverage, you can also then enter a prepayment that is associated to this specific um, item. Uh, then when it's used during your processing of your sales order and invoicing, it will the system will automatically apply that uh, to your invoice. So if we take a look uh, first going to sales orders, Leverage has a counter sale option that you can first bring in your customer and it's streamlined for mainly for those counter sales situations. Uh, trying to get rid of all of the noise and extra uh, options that are on a typical sales order. So here, if we put in uh, a quantity specifically for an item that we have contracted with that customer, when we save this item, Leverage goes in and pulls in the sales agreement, it automatically identified that there was a sales agreement for this item and customer pulled that in, as well as it um, earmarked the prepayment that was already applied to that agreement. So now if our customer comes in, we want to complete that order in the retail point of sale, flipped over here to Microsoft Dynamics retail point of sale. Um, you recall the order, uh, either by order number, by customer, however you'd like to bring up that order, The order comes in with the quantity and our rate that we've given it for that quantity. And here from this point, we could go in and add any other items that the customer might have purchased. In this case, we're doing uh, dog food. And, and probably some, um, some candy bars or some pop that we've added. So now our total is $14.50. So since the prepayment has already been applied um, to the order, the only thing that the customer is now paying for is any new items that we've added to this order. So we complete the order in the point of sale. And we forgot to put in the delivery items. So then we enter in the payment and finish that customer order. And now if we were to go back into the back office and take a look at that order, since we had started it in uh, finance and operations, uh, Dynamics Retail Point of Sale automatically goes through and delivers and invoices that item. So now we have already as an invoice sales order for uh, the quantity that we have entered in first in the back office and then our additional items that we added to that um, in the point of sale. And our, our prepayment is already applied as well as our payment from the point of sale on the additional items. So this now it has been fully applied and the customer does not require to be um, paying anything more. Another option, uh, a common occurrence that happens in our egg retail scenarios is for any item that might require special licensing in order for the customer to purchase um, and apply. So here, if we go into counter sales again and create the order for our customer, uh, we'll select a contact uh, with the leverage functionality. Uh, the licensing is connected to a contact and the certificate functionality for that contact. So here we'll add in 
the item. And when we save the item, you'll see the system automatically goes out and finds the certificate for that contact and attaches it to the item. And at this point then, again, we could bring that item up, this order up into the retail point of sale and uh, either add more items to that or finish it out um, on the point of sale side.